Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Report's news briefing for Tuesday the 17th of March. The local media headlines today and full marks to Cornwall Council and NHS Kerno for giving us a story which, in Cornwall at least, is actually more important than coronavirus, although you could argue that the two are related. The council and the NHS have agreed to put just one person in overall charge of a new integrated service and that means Jackie Pendleton is to leave her job at the health service and the council's Helen Charlesworth May will take over at the end of the month. If you want to make a joke about the deck chairs on the Titanic, we've heard it before. Meanwhile, the council is wondering what to do if the government goes ahead with its plans to put people over the age of 70 into a locked down self-isolation in their own homes. Many councillors are over 70 and wouldn't be able to get to meetings. And Cornwall reports tried to keep up with the growing list of cancelled events, Trevithick Day and the Isles of Scilly Gig Championships, to name but two. Pirate FM reported an incident in Saltash in which two teenage boys were injured. Three 17-year-olds have been arrested. Police say the incident involved a bladed weapon. The BBC reports the latest attempts by Greggs to open a successful pasty shop in Cornwall. The Cornish Times noted the interest of the BBC's Countryfile programme in Lou this week. The Buden Stratton Post covered the installation of a defibrillator at Widmouth Bay. The Cornish and Devon Post told us how the Launceston Young Farmers raised lots of money with their most recent dung run. And finally, Cornwall Live celebrated what it said was the first dry day for a month. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.